The House of Representatives has passed the bill to make the wearing of masks mandatory. The bill would now go to the Senate tomorrow and would be the first to be debated in the upper house. The debate begins at 10.30 a.m. Attorney General Faris al-Rawi, piloting the bill in the House of Representatives today, outlined the fines and penalties for breaching the legislation. Failure to wear a mask, for instance, will attract by way of first offense, $1,000 in respect of the breach, by way of second offense, to $2,000, and by way of third offense, to $5,000. After that, you are looking instead to the arrestable offenses. The recommendations put forward are coming with exceptions, however, with regard to age and medical disability. And during his maiden contribution in the lower house, Bartaria San Juan MP Saddam Hussein said, while the opposition UNC will support the bill, he's calling on government to pay closer attention to the details. But we don't know what we are going to do. You know, many persons in the population are asking whether or not the wearing of a face mask, the mandatory wearing of a face mask, whether they have to wear it in their cars, whether persons of a certain age have to wear it, whether there would be any exceptions. We don't know none of that because the government, again, has not done their job to provide us with that information. The Barataria MP was also critical of government for changing its position on the wearing of masks. In the earlier stages of the pandemic, government took the position of using moral suasion as opposed to legislation to encourage people to wear their masks. In response, Health Minister Terence Yelsing explained the virus was still new to everyone. As we get experience with a new novel virus, what we thought then, as said by the CDC, as said by WHO, about wearing of masks, we have to alter our views. It's the same way that the UNC is changing their position on sunshine and the virus.